So this is question number 19 and we are told the figure B, uh, A, B, C, D, E, F below represent a roof of a house. A, B, we have A, B is that is equals to D, C is equals to 12 centimeters. So we have been given that. Uh, then we have B, C is equals to A, D. Uh, so is equals to 6 centimeters. We have been given A, E. Uh, that is A E is equals to this is our A E is equals to uh, B F. This is our B F equals C F is equals to D E is equals to uh, five centimeter five meters, and E F is uh, eight meters. So we have those measurements. Uh, then part A uh, correct calculate comma correct to two decimal places the perpendicular distance from E F. Uh, from the plane A, B, C, D. So what we are going to do is uh, we are going to drop a perpendicular from uh, F to plane uh, A, B, C, D and we will use the measurements uh, given to be able to do that. So let's first of all drop that perpendicular. So what I have done here is that this is the height I'm looking for. I'll call it height 1. But I cannot be able to calculate that because I, I also need uh, if I, I I also need this height, so I'll call this height two. That is, uh, if you can call this n, we can say f n. We need that. Uh, we can call this m. So f m for us to get f m, which we are required, then we need this distance, uh, one of the distance. Uh, so we the we need the 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 hypotenuse. So what I'll do, I'll start by since now, if you look at a b, it is twelve. But EF is 8. So if we, if, we, if we get 8 here, it means this will be 2 and this is 2. And here I have this is 5. So I will be able to get height 2. So H2 is equals to, you realize now this is a right angle triangle. So this is equals to the square root of 5 squared. 5 is uh, the hypotenuse minus. Now this length which is 2 uh, minus 2 squared. And this is equals to uh, the square root of 25 minus 4 is equals to the square root of 21. I can leave it uh, like that for the time being. So this means that uh, uh, this height 2, this is the square root of 21. And then I, I now use, since I know this, uh, this is the midpoint of, uh, of uh, BC. So I'll say this is 3 centimeter, 3 meters. Uh, so I have 3 meters and now I have this is uh, the square root of 21 uh, that is uh, height 2 uh, so I can now get height 1 is equals to the square root uh -huh. height 1 is a uh, uh, so we say it is a uh, uh, root 21 squared uh, that is uh, this side you minus uh, 3 squared so when you work out that uh, you get uh, root 21 squared is root 21, uh, 3 squared is 9, so 29 minus, uh, 21 minus 9, that will give you root 12, uh, which you, using your calculator, you get it is 3.46 uh, meters, so that is how you get the height, uh, so this means that uh, this is uh, uh, 3.46 uh, meters, and that is, you get uh, uh, that mark. Uh, the second part of the question is, uh, uh, that is part B, calculate the angle between uh, Roman number 1, it's uh, number 1, uh, this is B, this is our A, uh, the planes A, D, E and A, B, C, D, uh, you get two marks. So where is our A, D, E? Our A, this is our A, uh, D, E, so it is this plane here and our A, B, C, D. Uh, how do we get the, the angle between those two planes, which you did in Form 4? Uh, we say that uh, we, for us to get the angle between two planes, we get the angle of uh, pr uh, the, the angle of projection, that is the line of projection and the plane. So what we do, we are going to drop uh, a line from E uh, to, the, uh, to, to join AD, and that will be perpendicular to AD, that will be the projection. Uh, so we'll get uh, the angle between that line and uh, the, the line that we can draw uh, dividing A, B, C, D into two. So let's do that. So that is the line. If we name this is K, 
Uh, so AEK is a projection of the line of the uh, that is if you drop AEK onto this other one, we can call it uh, uh, V. Then this the angle that we are interested in is that angle, and therefore, how do we get that angle? Uh, we are going to look for the. We already know uh, that this uh, H3. It's, uh, let's call this H3, so that it help us. We have the. We have. Uh, if you get that, we will be able to get the angle between these two planes. So how do we do that? So what we know here is that uh, this. Uh, this. Uh, this is three uh, meters, and this is five meters from the information given, and therefore we can get H3 is equals to. Uh, the square root of 5 squared minus 3 squared. This is the square root of, uh, you get that is a square root of uh, 25 uh, minus uh, 9 is equal square root of 16 is equals to 4. So it means this, uh, this that is a slanting side, uh, e, e k is equals to 4. And we, n we have now, uh, we can be able to, and we already have uh, our the height here, uh, which we can drop here, which we had calculated here as H1, uh, which was the root of 12. So we can use sine and say, sine, let's call this theta 1, theta 1, uh, we call theta 1, is equals to, we have the opposite side, which is, uh, we can use root 12, uh, divided by, now, the, the, the hypotenuse, which we have found is equals to 4, uh, so this implies that if you get the sine inverse of uh, root 12 divided by 4, that is you divide uh, using your calculator now, what you do is you divide root 12 divided by 4, you go to the inverse, you get the sine, you will be able to get that angle is equal to 60. So that means that this angle here is 60 and uh, you get 2 marks for that. So that's how you do that. So let's go to Roman number 2. Uh, the line AE, uh, AE is this line and the plane ABCD. Uh, so for us to get that, what we need to do, we are going to join a line from uh, A uh, to, to where we have the perpendicular, this one, we can call this, uh, let's call it uh, U like that. So we need this angle, that is the line of projection. Uh, a is a line of projection uh, on uh, A, B, C, D. So we can call this theta 2. That is uh, theta 2. And what do we have? We already have this height, that is which you defined as height 1. And we already have the the length of A, E, which is uh, 5. So for us to be able to do that, uh, that is Roman number, Roman number 2. Uh, this is what we do. So Roman number 2. We say the sine of that angle, sine theta 2, is equals to the height we said it is root 12. Uh, we divide by the hypotenuse, which is 5, and this is equals to, uh, we get, uh, this implies that, uh, when you get, uh, implies that sine inverse of root 12 divided by 5 is equals to uh, 43. Point nine degrees, and how do you do that using your calculator? Uh, you 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 put root twelve, uh, you divide by five, that will give you a decimal number. You go to the inverse button, you press and you press the sign that will give you the angle forty three point uh, nine. So that is how you work out that question. Awarding of marks, you get uh, getting these heights, uh, you will be able to you'll be able to get uh, for example the first one you get one mark there uh, you get uh, you can get uh, this one mark and you get uh, one mark there and you get one mark for the answer but b it's two marks so for getting uh, now you get that identifying the sign and getting the angle uh, then part uh, we have a uh, part uh, roman number uh, part, um, part two we have uh, two marks, so you get one mark for that, and you get one mark for the answer. Uh, we still, I think there is still part C. Let's have a look at part C of this question so that we complete it. So this is a, it actually it is a, 
B, Roman number 3, which I had left out, the planes A, B, E, F, E. A, that is our A, uh, B, F, and E, and plane uh, D, that is our D, that is our C, that is our F, and that is our... So what we are going to do, it is the angle between the two slanting sides of the roof. Uh, so let's, uh, you, uh, you can use your hand to make a sketch so we, we can drop uh, a perpendicular here uh, to the line AB and another one there. So this is the angle that we are interested in, we can call it theta 3. Uh, that angle, then we remember we already uh, know the, this, uh, we had calculated Fn uh, which we called H2 which we found it is root 21 here. Uh, so we can draw a perpendicular here uh, to join U, uh, that is, uh, these two lines, MV. Uh, so it means we can join that and that becomes a right angle triangle. This already we know three meters. Uh, we know the height is uh, root 21. So we can be able to get that angle. So I'll just say, Roman number three, uh, number three of part B, I will say sine, I use half of the angle. So a half, half of the angle theta, uh, 3 is equal to so that is half of this angle it is uh, opposite that is 3 divided by the hypotenuse which is uh, we have found here it is uh, root 21 so we divide by root 21 and when you divide that you will be able to get uh, a half theta you get uh, that is what you do here let me show you you get the uh, sine inverse of uh, 3 over root 21 uh, that angle you'll be able to get is equal to using your calculator you press 3 divide by root 21 you, the decimal number you get you go to the inverse sign and you press you press sign uh, you keep, it will be able to get 40.89 degrees but remember this is half the angle so if uh, so we say a half theta is equal to uh, 40.89 so you multiply by 2 and this would give you uh, that uh, this implies that uh, th our theta, our theta 3 is equal to, you multiply by 2, you get 81 uh, point, uh, you get 81.8 degrees and we are working to one decimal place. So that's how you work out that and you get two marks. So you get two marks for identifying, uh, you get one mark for identifying this, the sign and you get one mark for the answer in total you get 10 marks so that's how you work out that question uh, i hope you have followed and uh, that's very good get more of this uh, subscribe to this channel then click this icon to get the notification whenever i produce a new video you can call or whatsapp me if you have any questions or you want to book an online class